All right. I can be your hero, baby. I can, I can... take away your pain. <laughs> Just by fixing something, maybe? Yeah. In fact, I've got a pretty good fix for you, buddy. So we've been on a roll here recently, and I uh, I really got stuck on Nemesis the other night. You and I started a discussion about it because it's one you don't like a whole lot. Yeah. Understandably so. There are some holes in it, and now it has been stuck in my mind like a weevil. So that was a short conversation. So I need you to now fully and with all of your power, Mick Manhattan, can you fix Star Trek Nemesis? Yes, 100%. Give it a go. Because it already has like the foundation that is so solid, there's nothing you have to improve. It's literally, everything else is literally just building up off that foundation which for some reason they didn't do, and they made that foundation do things that it doesn't normally do in any of this franchise whatsoever, but whatever. You have the characters. You got the Enterprise. What more do we need, and what less do we need? What we needed in this movie was, first of all, stop trying to be Star Wars with the action. Tone it down. Have more of the dialogue driven let's solve the problems um situation i don't mind the man of action stuff i'm a kirk guy so i don't mind it but you have to focus on what drives the this crew like how do they fix things they don't they've never been the type to fix things by blowing something up you know not saying they haven't blown things <laughs> up but that's I mean, not how they solved it blowy uppy has been effective but not all the time. Yes, generally there's another way. Yeah, well, that's the thing. But like, whereas most people would be like, ah, shit, let's just blow it up. And then just hit the button. They were always the ones to, let's think about this. Let's. That's the last thing. And if that has to come to it, we'll figure out the best way to do it. You know, something like that. Which, interestingly, this season of Picard did bring up. But yep. what happens when he gets all blowy-uppy? They just wind up shooting themselves. Exactly. So, yep. So... You know, watching that and and watching Nemesis and seeing the direction they wanted to take it, because again, uh, we we're very lucky with Insurrection. It came out in 1998, a year before um, uh, Phantom Menace came out. So you know, once Phantom Menace came out, it just propelled to like everything's got to be like Star Wars right now. And even that, I think Nemesis was like the biggest campaign of like figures they were trying to put out. You know, so. What that tells me is you guys need to dumb this down and dumb it down in a way that's like, okay, and we don't need bright, shiny things like that because they've proven that in like three other movies before. You got to have them interact. You got to have them fix things. So well, who do you take out and how do you change that? Mm -hmm. First of all, they shouldn't have sidelined anybody who was important to the original cast like Guinan, mm -hmm. who just smiles in the movie. Wesley is there. Even though he clearly left, <laughs> he was gone. So maybe as the watcher, he came back. But um, you don't sideline him with nothing to say, even to his own mother. Yeah. Then sideline Bev and just like kind of relegate her to go down to sick bay. That's never been what the whole the point of this was. Yeah. And then you know, so like, stop sidelining all these characters, and stop, and also stop the weird connection that was being forced between data and picard mm. not that they didn't have a connection not that they weren't friends and he didn't care for they didn't care for each other but they were trying to play this up so that way it could sell the end like that ending could still work mm -hmm. but you don't have to have that relationship to build up i don't know why this writer stepped in and was like all right let me change the complete dynamic you know and like clearly, you said, no one understands after seven seasons and three other movies who these characters are. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also, I don't mind these Remans. And even if you want to do a Picard, you know, clone sort of situation, like fine. But it's just so much act the Dune buggy scene, all this stuff. Like mm -hmm. it's just so much action. And putting Picard and Data at the center of all of this, I think, was just wrong. Because the A story and the B story were literally the same exact story. And they're just mirroring each other. And it just doesn't work. It's just a setup to have another Data there down the line. So you can kill this Data, which makes no 
So whatever, it makes no sense, but fine. <laughs> um, because Picard, yeah. but Picard would have never just been like, I don't want to put you in danger and I'm going to go. It would be, let's solve this. Let's figure this out. How do we do this? How do we go about this? And then try and figure it out before he's just like, all right, I'm going to grab a gun you, and shut down the transporters. Uh, I'm going over there and I'm just going to die. All the years they've been doing this, like it's never been like that. <laughs> yeah, fair. Even with the Borg, he wasn't really like that. He knew he needed his crew to help him. I don't, I'm just... So to fix this movie, you really have to take those elements out of it. So I really think you needed to take the clone element out of it. I think you needed to make it more along the lines of what the insurrection fight was becoming. You know what I mean? Like it, where it was more like, let's try and work this out, figure it out while we're having this fight. Right. where there's interaction and take out these just these really weird heroic points like Riker for some reason leaving the bridge while Picard's on another ship just saying hey in this crisis you take the bridge and I think it was just Troy <laughs> it's just like you take the bridge I'm gonna go fight this guy you know where is the Riker that always you know which they even said in this movie you shouldn't go, Captain. You shouldn't go on away missions. Your place is on the bridge, mm -hmm. you know, but fight him on it. So Riker's just going to be like, all right, guard left. I'm going to roll out and go deal with this. Now, I'm not going well, to get mean, to it. Sure, but it's Troy, too. I mean, she's a fully capable bridge officer. She's great. Yes, and I'm not putting Troy down, but I'm saying that's a lot of pressure considering you are in command and you don't need to leave when you have security officers everywhere. Yeah, that's fair. You know, like this is who like are also thing. just getting like torn apart. <laughs> right, I mean, down. the Reman soldiers are a bit more strong, and your ship has been. You're, you know what? You're trying to tear up. this down on me. You're still mad about that stupid notebook comment. I'm telling you right now, the only way to fix this is you take the clone out. You can have the Remans, but it makes no sense. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't. Been, it would have been a lot. I like how it opened up the door towards the uh, Romulan and human connection. Working together. Yeah, it, it was kind of the push yeah. that they needed for after Spock's reunification efforts to yeah. then have this be the thing because they've wiped out all the old council. So it's only going to be the new folks and the Remans have beaten them up pretty bad. So it was a good way to open that door. I do say there. It's a good vehicle for that. And, you know, we get we get Commander Denatra. She yeah. was awesome. No, listen, you have some really cool elements to it, like, but it, it's really just the popcorn bullshit that needs to get taken out of that for it to work. It really is. You take the clone out, you take the, you know, you can still keep the Remans, but their plot, change their plot up a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. all right, maybe we're not trying to take out Starfleet. Maybe we're trying to get one of their ships. Mm -hmm. Something, whatever it is, or maybe they're trying to take out Vulcan and, or not Vulcan, um, Romulan. And we're stepping in to kind of deal with it as well, you know, because we're in the area or whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> we'll think we'll think of something, okay? But what I'm saying for this, for this purpose, is to say get rid of all that um, unknown, like, action to it. You can have the B storyline, so you can still kill Data off, and you have mm -hmm. lore there. Fine, you can keep that because that wouldn't take away from the rest of the crew doing their thing because Data would still come in and out. Right. which he did but picard was taken too far as well and it's just it really was a weird mirror thing that they had going on there and it just didn't work in this movie uh so you take that out of picard and i wouldn't make picard the center of it i know he was the biggest name especially with x-men and stuff like that but he can still be the same central figurehead but like maybe it's not it's something has to do with the ship or something that he is you know trying to save or something like that but don't make him the main focus like we're fo oh, they need picard for his blood because that's how they're going to get him fixed or whatever it just it took too much away from the story in my opinion and the rest of the crew that's fair so what do you think my friend uh i think uh, with a few modifications little tweaks there and uh maybe a few more expounding on the what will we insert here there's a very good chance that you fixed it. <laughs> okay, so we get a semi on that. Like it's kind of yeah, yeah. yeah, you're I like so so. 
You got to, so. yeah, it's good. I mean, look, I, is, I could say probably would have been a little bit better than what actually came out. You know what? Let me get another rewatch in of it. Get pissed off again. And then long down, down the line, bring Nemesis back. And I think I can get a pass. Fair enough. It's always better when you're uh, freshly heated up in the moment. So. Yeah, I think that's, <laughs> that's, that's a safe bet.